Drink it up, drink it up. Do a shot, drink it up. Drink it up, drink it up. Do a shot, drink it up. Drink it up, drink it up. Do a shot, drink it up. Drink it up, drink it up. Do a shot, drink it up. Drink it up, drink it up. Do a shot, drink it up. Drink it up, drink it up. Do a shot, drink it up. Reach it up, reach it up. Do a shot, come on, come on. Drink it up, drink it up. Reach it up, drink it up. Thursday, Thursday morning show. Running a little late on the uh, news here, but now we're recording on YouTube. I did not know that, uh, you know whose birthday was today? No, what? Samuel Colt. You know who he made? Colt 45. No, not Colt 45, Mark Licker. <laughs> was on the gun. Oh, okay. Do you know what he died from? He was born July 19, 1814. He only made it to January 10th of 1862. I would have thought the guy who made the Colt 45 pistol would have died at the hands of his own gun, but no. The peacemaker. He died from gout. Gout can let, kill you. Yeah, if you let it go, yeah. I didn't know that. Maybe you'll die from drinking too much coffee. You ever think of that? Yeah. And she still drinks it you anyway. Can. You, you can't? You can't. If you drink too much of it, like if you drink too much energy drinks, it makes your heart go really fast. Well, I know people that do that. Yeah. And, and, and they have, some people have died from that. Well, you know that you can die from drinking too much water. Mm-hmm. The girl did that uh, I read, yeah. out in uh, California. I read that too. And actually the girl that, they were it was a co radio station contest and a girl that used to work here in Orlando at XL 106.7, Jade, I remember. was the one that was involved in that contest. Wow. Uh-huh. See there? Uh, yeah. Too much water. Too much of anything will kill you. That's why they say everything about oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Too much of anything will kill me? Yeah. I need another drink. Uh, 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 doc. I was going to say stupidity is going to kill me then. <laughs> dealing with stupid folks, but anyhow, go ahead. Oh, Frank, hold on, before we go, big shout out to Frank, uh, and, and his his son is checking us out, Miss Imani Lee. Hello, Miss Imani Lee. Thanks for uh, logging in to Captain Company. All right, uh, news, go ahead, Riri. Okay, first I need to say that uh, this, this new segment is sponsored by Premier Elevator. What goes up must come down, and what goes down must come up, go up. For all your elevator needs, call John at Premier Elevator, 321-326-8558.
That's John at Premier Elevator at 321-326-8558. Now, I really didn't want to go into stories like this. And if you've been noticing, I haven't. But wait, 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 wait. This is, this is national news. Okay. So. I'll do mine later. Yes. So, have another drink. I will. <laughs> But the 12 huh. top boys in their suffering <laughs> were released from the hospital and made their first public appearance before sharing their experience in the cave. And I just so wanted to get it done. <laughs> them around to show how healthy they are. The boys said that they didn't bring food into the cave with them because it wasn't supposed to be a long adventure. When they tried leaving, their way out was flooded. Then they tried going deeper into the cave, thinking there might be another way out, which is when they got stuck in flooded tunnels. Ten days later, they heard someone speaking English, and one of the boys went to investigate. That's where he found the British divers who were part of the search and rescue mission. During the press conference, some of the boys apologized to their parents and honored the memory of the retired Thai Navy SEAL who died during the rescue effort. The team said through it all, the biggest lesson they learned was to, quote, not live life carelessly. ABC News reported that most of the boys said when they grow up they want to be professional soccer players and Thai Navy SEALs. The European Commission has slapped Google with a fine of about five billion dollars over antitrust issues with Android phones. Bloomberg reports it's the largest penalty ever doled out by antitrust authorities. The commission said Google used Android's operating system to illegally strengthen the dominance of its search engine. It gave Google 90 days to change its practices or it could face more penalties. Here's what's going on. When customers buy a phone or tablet with an Android operating system, it comes preloaded with Google Lizzie Google Borden with her apps and the Google oh, search app. Yeah. The EU's competition commissioner says that was part of a deal Google made with Android developers to allow them to use the Google Play App Store. The commissioner said that this deal denied European consumers the benefits of effective competition in the important mobile sphere. While Android users can still download other web browsers, the commissioner says only about 10% of people will actually do so. The size of the fine was based on how much Google made in the past seven years from searches well, on Android Windows devices in Europe. Windows puts Google Internet Explorer on. Windows puts Internet Explorer on their stuff, so what's the big deal? Proposal to split up the state There's a big the difference because when... The Supreme Court blocked the Cal 3 initiative from appearing on the ballot. Internet Explorer is one entity. Google, you got all, you got like five or different things, five or six different things on there, and I'm like, I don't even use this shit. I don't. Mozilla Firefox. But even if voters approved the three California's plan in November, it still would have been subject to congressional approval. President Donald Trump acknowledged Russian President Vladimir Putin's accountability for his country's meddling in the U.S. presidential election. Trump made those comments in an exclusive interview with CBS Evening News. But you haven't condemned Putin specifically. Do you hold him personally responsible? Well, I would, because he's in charge of the country. So certainly, as the leader of a country, you would have to hold him responsible, yes. Trump also said he believed Russia had meddled in the 2016 election. That's notable because earlier this week, Trump said he wanted to correct the record on his position regarding Russia's interference. Trump also said in the CBS interview that he told Putin, quote, we can't have meddling. In an interview with Fox News, President Donald Trump seemed to question a key NATO agreement. Again. Fox News anchor Tucker Carlson hypothetically asked why the U.S. should defend Montenegro, a NATO ally, from an attack. Trump seemed to insinuate that the U.S. might not come to the country's defense. Montenegro is a tiny country with very strong people. They have very aggressive people. They might get aggressive. And congratulations, you're in World War III. That concept of mutual defense comes from Article 5 of the NATO agreement, which says an attack on one country is an attack on all. It's only been invoked once, after the September 11th attacks. But in this hypothetical example, there are a few points to keep in mind. Article 5 ensures the defense of an ally that is under attack, not of an ally initiating an attack. And it seems pretty unlikely that Montenegro could start World War III. The country is smaller than the state of Connecticut, with a population about the same size as Oklahoma City's.
like that foam. I like that, but... Back with more Thirsty Thursday on Camping Company! Go to page 16. Yes. Last page. Yes. Make it the 407284 number. Okay. Let me know when you're done with that one. Read it. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> I think she's doing it out of spite now. <laughs> yeah. Did you correct 16? Vic. Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm saving it now. Yeah. Okay. No, the reason I'm asking is because I can do the horoscope while you're finishing that. I'm already done. I just have to update the number right now. Okay, there's two, there's two more things. Okay. Page 15. 15, yes. Add-on. Yes. Instead of them free, they're 100 bucks each. There's your 100. Okay. You want to interview, 100 bucks. You want a logo, included on a banner, it's 100 bucks. Promo of your hashtag, 100 bucks. Got that. Can you handle horoscopes? Yes. Alright. I'll play around with Rita for a minute here. <laughs> Are we both doing horoscopes? Yeah, Captain, am I doing horoscopes by myself today? 
Or me and Reed are going to alternate. Well, well, today. Lisette Melendez, boy, I had a thing for her. But I'm trying to figure out Facebook here because this uh, label was, uh, wasn't she on CBS? So she was on CBS. I don't think Sony bought CBS. So why do you keep flashing this bull crap up on my face? These people must be fr uh, Brad Wilkie's friends from the Ohio State. The Ohio State. The Ohio State. Wait, the Ohio State University. Yeah. The only V is the U. Thank you. Respect to them South Florida boys. That's right. Riri. Yeah. What now? Why are they flashing this? This is the Pink Panther. You stupid ass. How much has she had to drink? Two None months. of that. Coffee, couple of these. Uh huh. Three. Three. Uh huh. And you see there. Let's go to horoscopes, Captain. Yeah, you want me to go to horoscopes? Let's All go right. to horoscopes. Okay. Star Aries, are you hoping to accomplish a goal that you've been working towards for a long time? Don't let delays cause you to fear that it will never happen. Fortunate changes are in the wind, but it's still going to take a little bit more effort to get you where you want to be. Yes, it's called Fireball! <laughs> yes. Fireball. Uh-huh. So, Taurus, you may be an especially nurturing, especially nurturing mood today. <laughs> you might reach out to every living... I got it! I got it! I got it! I told you I'd get it! <laughs> From plants and pets <laughs> to friends, children, and romantic partners. And fireball. And fireball. Gemini. Social responsibilities might appear to be hitting all hitting you all at once. Everyone you know seems to crave your company. This isn't a good day to commit yourself. Wait a while until you're feeling a little bit more balanced, <laughs> then send out your responses. Cancer. Important communications regarding finances could come today. It might be fortuitous if you follow up on them right away. Uh-huh. See, listen to her. Well, you give her, give her a little away. alcohol. Give her a little alcohol. Now she's being educated. Fortuitous. Uh-huh. She's being an educated white girl. Leo on my lines out there. Your sensual side is likely to show itself today. You might find yourself viewing young folks in tight jeans more appreciatively than you usually do. Oh, my goodness. Go. Okay. Next. Who's wearing tight jeans? Apparently those younger people. Okay. So Virgo, ingenious techniques for growing your money could come your way. While you aren't one to jump into anything, you certainly are likely to give these ideas a serious thought. Libra, today you're likely to be just in the right place at the right time to meet the right person. You're overdue for a lucky break and probably not expecting it. Be prepared, this transition may involve vast changes in your life in the long run, if not immediately. What that means is you need to brush your teeth, comb your hair before you go out of the house. Yes. Like you should put, yeah, supposed to. Scorpio, you might wake up this morning, look in the mirror, and decide you hate what you do. <laughs> oh, kind of like <laughs> even, even though you, uh -huh. even though you probably don't go I love it. I love it. Uh -huh. No, he's going to shut the hell up. No, he ain't going to shut the hell up. This is his house. You shut the hell up. Okay. Oh, Sagittarius. Thank you. Today you can find yourself seeking self-knowledge through relationships, especially those assisting those you love. Someone is troubled and needs your help. You're especially able to soothe of this anger and get, meditate arguments. Your optimism is very high and you have what it takes to pass it on to others. Capricorn, do you have a romantic evening planned for tonight? Well, if so, it's likely to turn out to be all you hope for. You'll be especially attractive in your natural warm and loving nature will be very apparent. Uh-huh. Now, hey, hey, Doc! Doc! Yes, sir. Doesn't it sound like that alcohol playing in now? Hey, she's got a little pimping on stuff. Last two of them, she was talking about somebody giving up some nookie. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, besides, Scorpios, if you look in the mirror, you don't like what you see. I don't know about you, but I know about me. Because uh -huh. I love what I see, because I see me. <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't laughs> I love it. Pisces, 
Which is my people, at some point during the day you might find yourself involved in a project that piques your interest far more than usual. You can throw yourself more deeply into it than is necessarily now. Your wisdom is especially sharp and you can use your intuition to gain valuable practical knowledge. I.e. do not conduct business by just texting people. Okay. I, <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay. okay we, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Before you read God's people. Look, look at how she grabbed her cup. Well, you just do things to my cup. I don't want that. Okay. How many times have you allowed that to happen, Rita, today? She Twice. might not have to. Thank she you. might need to make a different appointment on Thursdays not to see Buddha. Because Buddha, yeah, yeah. I be rubbing my own belly. Yeah, because, like I said, it's kind of rude. Uh-uh. No, I, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. God yeah, dang, what was let the man have, he get ready to go to San Diego. Yeah, okay. okay. I, gotta, I gotta go to the... We gotta, we gotta talk about... Hold on just a moment. Give me a minute here. Uh, 58 after the hour. Brad Wookie, Wookie, Brad Wookie on the flight deck. Bradley, come around here. Wave Brad. at the camera. Where's the camera? The camera's right there. There you go. Brad Wookie, yeah. Ohio State Buckeyes. Yeah, Ohio State Buckeyes. Yeah, he, he, Ohio State <laughs> Buckeyes. <laughs> and, 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 and Dallas yeah. Cowboys. Yeah. He won the ball. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh, see there? Loud mouth, but... But he doesn't have a Jerry Curl or gold teeth. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Oh. Oh. Thanks for the shot, cousin. Okay, all right. There, there, there. No, no, that's for Brad. That's for Wookie. Oh, okay. Okay, shots. Salud, Brad. Salud, Brad. It's 1503. It's 1503. It's 1503. All right. Now, now I want to hear Rita read those scopes. Or Aquarius, which cap the captain and I share. You could feel restless and act. I'm anxious to get out into the open for a while today, but mundane tasks could force you to postpone it. Somewhere you, someone you care about might ask for a favor, and while you may not want to help this person, you probably will. If Mama San calls and says she needs something, I'm, you know I'm running. Oh, absolutely. If Kayla calls, I'm running. I know the CEO wants me to go take her to go get her car fixed, but or picked up. But somebody's gonna have to take her because I haven't put no gas in the car because I'm waiting on a check to clip. <laughs> so there you oh, go. Oh, JG Wentworth. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got your no. cash right now. <laughs> Hey, hey, if, they, if, if either one of those three knuckleheads paid, then I would be happy, but that's all right. That's all right. So, are we done with, we're done with that? We okay. is done. All right. Horoscopes were being brought to you by Fireball. I say Fireball. And now it's time for Sports. And today's sports report brought to you by Fireball. If you want to get your copy a little kick and help you read your horoscopes, get a little Fireball in your life. The, the official uh, supplier of today's <laughs> Have you thinking about Danica Patrick, even though a question wasn't directed to you about Danica Patrick? Yeah. Who hosted last night's ESPYs as she segued to her first story. She looked good. She looked very excellent. fabulous. And she got Yoga. good reviews about whatever she did, her comedy routine. Yeah. She did a skit of uh, knocking off um, I, Tanya, called me Danica, which she was herself and a lot of other things. Uh, now, there's some breaking news going on. LaShawn McCoy, running back for the Buffalo Bills, um, suspects being suspected, according to his girlfriend, that he was the one that broke in and beat her up in his house. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. How could she not know what her boyfriend looks like? Maybe he wasn't wearing, maybe he was, maybe he was wearing a mask when he broke in. And maybe you're going to... El Cajon instead of San Diego. Hey. Well, then again, it's, it's his house, so uh, he's definitely going to have fingerprints there. There's no sense of wearing no uh, Yeah, I don't buy that crap. I don't buy it. Now, if she would have said it was one of his boys, one of his Jerry Curl wearing uh, uh, gold tooth boys from Carver Shores named Worm, I would believe it. So, so everybody got a friend named Worm. Yeah, I'm, I'm buying that one. What's your brand? What's that? 
wasn't no Riley Cooper. Yeah, so uh, I, I don't know. buy that one. So. Speaking of Riley Cooper, Riley Cooper a few years ago was caught on camera saying the N word at a concert for Kenny Chesney. Meanwhile, on Tuesday night at the MLB All Star game, Milwaukee Brewer pitcher Josh Hader, while after giving up a three run home run to Eugene Segura, has some old tweets of his resurfaced back when he was 17. Um, saying some derogatory, sexist, and uh, racist things, saying the N-word, and saying, I hate gay people. Uh, Mr. Hater has since apologized, saying I was saying the obligatory, I was young and not mature at that time. MLB says that he will be required to go to sensitivity training, and Captain Chris Hill is about to get ready to go on a soapbox about this particular topic. So, Captain, the floor is yours. <laughs> What in the hell has this country come to? We have a president that's a liar. He doesn't know what he's saying. He's making people who would normally just be quiet open their big mouth. And now people are digging up texts and all sorts of stuff of what people said 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 years ago. Who cares what somebody said 20 years ago? Who cares what they said 20 days ago? I care about what they say right now. When me standing in front of them, there are white people out there that do not like black people, and then there's black people that do not like white people. There's Spanish people that don't like each other. Puerto Ricans don't like Cubans. Cubans don't like Puerto Ricans. Dominicans don't care for Mexicans. Mexicans don't care for Nicaraguans. Japan tried to rule the world, people. So that means the Filipinos don't like the Japanese. The Japanese don't like the Koreans. The Koreans don't like the Chinese. Are you with me? Could we all just get along? I don't care if you don't like me. I really don't. But you're going to respect me and you're going to put up with me just like I would do the same for you. Oh, now Facebook wants to block me on me talking about about the president. Uh, about, he about the president. I don't give a damn if I'm talking about somebody's mother. This is why America is so effed up. We've gone backwards. We need to stop this. I can care less if a woman wants to sleep with another woman or a man wants to sleep with another man or a cat or a shark. shark. I can care less. It's not That's my better. problem. It's not me. Don't discriminate. You can't forget about the gerbil. Oh, yes. The gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> what about the hamster? What about the hamster? What about the rat? Uh, they got them confused. You know if it was well, a hamster. Hold on, hold on. What about... What, 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 okay, yeah. Did you hear Cats, dogs, pigs. You know, I don't care what you used to... Whatever. Cat. But all of this has to stop. Cat, did you hear yesterday about the man that had sex with a horse? Oh, my goodness. The horse consented. So this guy is really whacked out in the head. It's all the over the media. The horse okay. scented. Yeah. Yeah, and it was Mr. Ed he was sleeping Mr. with. <laughs> a horse is a horse. Hey, what are you doing? Whistleblower, stop it! Yeah. But are, are you with me, people? This is just the, the whole thing has gone out of whack. Somebody at one point in their life has said something derogatory about somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say. Okay, we all know that. We all know that I do not like rednecks. I don't. Refer to me no Thank you. Trash. I Thank did you. not say that. I did not say that. I will. Okay, you don't like white trash. I don't like rednecks. I go. don't like brothers with gold teeth and jerry curls yes. and fake yes. and fake gold chains because they're from Carver Shores or people named Worm for that matter. <laughs> now he's happy. He, I can hear him right now going, aha, now you fit. Now you got it off your chest. I love them all. <laughs> they they still own As long people. as their check is good in my bank account, I can care less. That's right. <laughs> this is America, of the land of the free, the home of the brave, and not people from FAMU for crying out loud. About free. No, I I don't I don't really care, honestly. If you really want to know, I don't care for people from FAMU only because I'm a Bethune Cookman person. If no, I'm no, gonna no, go no, with no, HB. Uh-huh. Everything goes with HBCU. No, I was going to say the University of Mary McLeod Bethune. Okay, well, why? Oh, yeah, you can yes, say yes. the whole thing. Dale Williams, I'm down with you. Tight Mike, well. Thoughts and prayers. 
Thoughts and prayer. <laughs> so, we need to stop all this crap. The main thing is this. We're Americans. We're in America. And our forefathers and four sisters and four skin and four everything stole <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> this land well, uh, from my cousins, the Indians. You, you went there. Yes, I did. Native and for the Russians to sit there and play kissy kissy Look at them with Trump hands on is disrespectful to Americans. And it's disrespectful for for, for 45 minus 1. Oh no, that would be 45 plus 1. My bad, Barack. 46 minus 1. My bad, Barack. Sorry. We need this man is treasonous. He's treasonous. He's in bed with the Russians? Why? But then again, I could be in bed with my dog. Well, well, oh. Reese sleeps on my bed. Yeah. And so does Mama Son. So now, what do you say about that? Nothing. Drink your coffee that's tainted with uh, a fireball oh, yeah. and shut the hell up and let us finish. Mm -hmm. oh. Anyway, the Dodgers and the Orioles completed their trade for Manny Machado yesterday. Machado going to Los Angeles for five prospects. No big leaguers involved in the trade. Machado expected to make his debut on Friday night with the Dodgers to turn back to action against the Colorado Rockies. And that's today's sports work. Brought to you by Care With All. Just get along. Brought to you with Rodney King Meditation Services. If you want to make sure that everybody gets on the same accord, white, black, green, or brown, go to Care We All Just Get Along. And if you book your session within the next 30 minutes, you get a free bottle of Fireball. Fireball! At no Fireball but takes care of all racism. But fireball! But no, this is, yes, it does. Because no, if, you no, drink, no, if, you drink, if you drink it's enough, look, if you drink I enough you Fireball, what? you'll know the truth about your people. No, you know what? It what? Makes it work. Fireball ain't going to do nothing but escalate whatever you got in your mind. Absolutely. I personally believe in the Indian way. Smoke. Mm -hmm. Smoke. Why you think they call it the peace pipe? Everybody was peaceful until they brought out that damn alcohol. And then it's like, oh, yeah, I don't like you little red skins. Oh, you white folks kind of pissing me off, too. That's where the problem came in. Uh-huh, guess what? I think he needs more fireball, Captain. He up. needs more fireball. I'll call him all the time. I hate the Cowboys. I don't even smoke. It's coming. It's coming. Hey, uh, I don't even hold this. I don't even want fireball. Yeah. Oh, the peace pipe was the smoking, and the fireball. You like got him calm. Everybody was calm. He makes everybody beat. All this alcohol. That's when all shit broke loose. Hell broke loose. You have medical Doc, I mean, I have to close out on what, how, what you said on uh, Tuesday. Peace be still. That's it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I know what I'm gonna do. Where's my girl? Where's my girl? Uh, Val Jones. Val Jones. Look, you got Nikki Carr calling in at 1120. Right, my, my sister. Okay, go to. Did you fix 15? Check your email. Well, no, 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 no. there's one more page, too. See, you're moving fast, son. Slow down. Slow down. I got it. You ain't telling page 2. Well, yeah, I know I did. Page 2. Oh, you've been rocking that. Show me one damn spot. That ought to tell you something. These fucking boys. These motherfucking son of a bitches. Val Jones. <laughs> hey baby, hey baby, we dr we drinking shots of Fireball. Woo, you know, hey, you know we don't bust. Uh huh. See, you need to put you need to put that red stuff down and and, and the white. Put it all down. Just put it down. Just, look, just go hug a tree before you go pee. Hee hee hee. I don't trees. I'm like, I'm so, I, I, I wish I had trees. No trees. I'm, I'm being treated like a tree. Like Okay, well, anyhow, well, while you and Jaden are trying to figure stuff out, oh, pa up. page ahead. two, Vic, you did, you need to put in rhythm ninety six. Okay, thank you. Okay, and then we're done. All right, um, you want to get in on the show before we cut the, turn off Facebook? Oh yes, why not? Okay, okay, we're gonna I'm gonna come out of this spot, and and uh, we're gonna turn this off. Yeah, I need to. Woo, woo. 
That's hot. Fireball getting with you? Yep. I got I got a, and I got a meeting, so I need to water up. Water up, yeah. Who's who's texting me? Tim Adams, thank you. I need us both to succeed. Yes, sir. One hour. Okay. Alright, he's on his way. No, that shit pissed me off. Evelyn last night gonna tell me. Well, uh, Jay Smoke uh, said you only had three people uh, viewing the damn feed. Fuck I said, so. I don't give a fuck what he oh. says. I got goddamn 50, I got 5,000 who viewed from Monday. 5,000. I said, this little motherfucker stole money from you, dear. You, and you still sitting up here talking about this bullshit? Maybe, and then I caught myself. And I got right there to the line. Stop. Okay, like, Stop. And I just said, I can't talk to you the rest of the night. Good night. Have a good night. Because okay. I could tell. So she was already mad at people messing with her at work. And I'm like, I'm just tired of hearing about Jay smoking all these little fucked up ass motherfucking Negroes that have fucked shit up around here. But we've turned around and we're still kicking ass. Okay, Michelle, has she had a little tip? Oh, absolutely. Well, there we go. That's why I caught myself and I shut up. But I'm just tired. I'm tired. I'm just tired. Good morning, Val. Tired. Good morning. Hold on. Here we go. 50 seconds. 58 seconds. Are we still live on Facebook? No, we ain't live yet. I'm getting... I'm, give, let me come out on the break. Good. Bye. Facebook. Okay, oh, oh Val there, okay, I see you. I see you, my tree hugging sister. Sister, not sister, sister. <laughs> and then we got Brad Wilkie. Oh my god, the, oh, most, the most the most racist person I've ever met. <laughs> uh, this like. motherfucker. Let, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Oh, Hold on. Hey Brad! Hey Reese! Reese, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. I'll leave him over there. Okay. You'd rather lick the seats on the, the probably the airplane seats. Look at that Captain. I got to get. It's on the stove. Oh, uh, yeah. You know how tight Mike is. Six foot and funny. And ain't got no money. But he got a honey. Thirsty Thursday. What are we doing, Doc? Drinking them up, sucking them down. Smoking them up here. Yeah, I'm Captain and Company. I see my girl Val Jones online. Check us out. Val. What's up, buddy? What's up? That my sugar, that my sugar, boo. Oh, how, am I? Uh, do I need to go woo 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 today? Yes, you gotta go. Boogie you gotta do the woo woo goo 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 boo boo woo woo. <laughs> and if we drink any more of this fireball, we're gonna be falling out going do 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 goo goo. Yeah. So I don't want to drink too much. I got stuff to do today. You, I got a meeting in forty five minutes. I know. Oh my god. But look, look, I could be th I could be lit up like a Christmas tree and nobody would know. Alright, well you know what? I can uh well no. You know, us broadcasters you know, us broad uh us broad I'm feeling extra happy all the time anyway, but I'm naturally Okay, give give Brad the mic over there. Put him around the corner. Brad's in such a hurry, you know how these people are. They come in the studio, they, they think that we're supposed to Hello. stop what we're doing. Just to get them on the freaking mic. Okay, Brad, are you there? I'm here. Okay, yes. The most racist man on live, Brad Wilkie. You're talking about someone else. You know, Brad worked for uh, Joe Thomas and uh, was the pool man. And the car man, the lawn man, the jacuzzi man, etc. Where, 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 hold on, where did you get that pimp daddy watch? I like that. I got it from the Indian store. Oh, you see? See what I mean? Racist man, he's calling him Indian. <laughs> <laughs> what if the SOB was from Pakistan? It's Pakistan. Look, look, at you, look at the chairman. What's he looking at me like that for? Because Reese is mad at you. He's going to take it. Come here, Reese. I'll feed you my Malamute. He, now, now think, about, think about this. He's got a Malamute. He's got a Malamute. Now, check this out. The white guy got a Malamute in Florida. That makes about as much sense as me having... A, Nothing wrong with it. Just keep it in the AC. <laughs> I bet your AC bill ridiculous. The what? AC at the new crib. As a matter of fact, you know how many years have you had that new house? Two. And the other night, last week, was the first time I came to his house. In two years. Now we're friends, but 
apparently not. Yeah, we ain't tight like that. <laughs> you know, two years it took before he invited me to his house, but I'm, but I'm, I'm having a fish party in about two months. Oh, you can have a fish party in two months? I've got fish in the refrigerator. I'm talking about fish in the canal. Oh, okay. Well, then good. You clean them yourself. Doc got when you, when you catch, you can eat. Doc, you got your boat, right? Yes. Yeah, Actually, there's a guy right up the street trying to sell a boat. I was interested in the boat. Cost too much? No, somebody didn't pay me like they were supposed to. I would have oh. got the damn boat. I would have brought the boat and put it in the backyard. Ooh. Backyard? Yes. Put some ice in it with lobsters. Oh my God! There you go, Wilkie. <laughs> Shrimp. See, see. Shrimp. You know what, Wilkie? You you need to take this man right here out. You need you need to take uh, a slick Vic, Vic out. Yeah, he wow. needs to, he needs to go to a strip where's, club. Where's Vic from? He's from Florida. Miami. Yeah, Miami. Yeah. But, 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 but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Victor is South what? Beach? No, Victor is what? Now, technically, we would have to say Victor is not from the hood. Victor is from the. Book hood. What? Where's that? He's got book sense. Victor's got education. Said Vic, if I took Victor on, on Northwest, if I took Victor, know. hold it, if I took Victor on a Northwest 198th Street, <coughs> he would be killed. <laughs> Just like me taking Uncle Polly down there to the Oakland Park flea market, he'd be killed right after you know. Uh, if we took you out to that flea market and. But what is it called? No, if you took me down there off the one out from Pine Hills Road, I'd be dead. Yeah. The one on Clark Webster. Webster, yes. I got Webster it. Webster Flea Market. No, no, dead. Webster, I'd be fine. <laughs> you fit right in. I'd fit right in because I would take your, your, your Ku Klux Klan uniform and put it on <laughs> and go shopping. <laughs> oh, my God. Val, help me now, sister. Help me. I, I'm, just, I'm, just tripping on, I'm just tripping on everybody. You know, and here's the funny thing about me. I literally can go anywhere and be accepted because I walk like an Anadonsi. I walk like a giant. I have that look. I mean, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a suburban kid. I'm a suburban royal. But I can go in the hood and they will respect me. I'm the type of person that I walk to a strip club at 2 o'clock in the morning by myself to get my money. you going to pay me, Jack. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You've been in the club, bro. Oh. I am the law. White, black, blue, green, do not act with me when you act with I am the law. Hey. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Doc act like you got to know if she made a visit to me or not. No, no. But let me tell you something. Val Jones don't play. She's like the Dow Jones. Val Jones will F you up. <laughs> we, we might know each other. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, you know, that might not be. Yes. Yes. And my mama, my mama, shoot. My mama was, she, you know, you know those sweet people? They're so sweet and so nice, they'll shank you. Oh, that's right. Hey, sugar boo. Yeah, they shank you. 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 Yeah, they shank Oh, look, don't you F with the CEO. She keeps getting, she gets after Vic for walking across a yard that really doesn't exist. <laughs> Our grass has been, been towed up from the floor up before. I don't even remember which hurricane it was. Oh, my God. Charlie, okay. Mama said get off the grass. Uh-huh. Get off the grass. But I thought them was weeds. Hey, it's my grass. I call it what I want to. Uh-huh. And, and the only thing he says, is, yes, ma'am. You're right. Like today, he went in the refrigerator, and I go, I hope you washed your hands. Please, Lord Jesus. Yes, if I, you didn't. Yes, I did. If you yes, did, I did. I'll hear, look, I'll get a full report Look, when the show is over. Look, I sure enough did. Good. But knowing me and my luck, I'll probably get yelled at even if because I did that. Mama <laughs> say, Mama saw, Mama poo saw. That's it. Yeah, that too. You know what time it is. All right. GI inspection. GI yeah. inspection. You're right. Ted Hutt, bow face, forward up. Hey. The CEO was a drill instructor when they had NTC Orlando. That oh ought to tell you God. something. Yes, she used to come home saying, I don't know what's worse, 84 women or you? Damn, <laughs> I'll take that, 84 to 1, those are good odds. Wow. What year was Great. it? 1977. Oh, okay. Let's go see. Hey, what was a CWO and he was a, I don't know. I am the, I am the most unmilitary military brat. I don't know about that stuff. All I know is when I told somebody my dad was fifth cab, and they went, your dad was fifth cab? Damn, he was the general. I don't know. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Are we going to get to news or not? If, if you don't, I'm not worried. But right now, I have a comedian. I know. I'm just asking for later. Alright, here we go. I know how Brad Wookie going back to work after he did some shots of fireball. <laughs> don't fall in the pool. Uh huh, don't fall in the pool. That's what it is. <laughs> 28 off the hour. Kevin Company coming down home stretch uh, show of uh, flight number 1503. 1503. I joined a new website to promote uh, the morning show, and these people, somebody said, Oh, we're doing show number 125. And I'm like, Really? Really? What? You, you're at 125 and we're at 1503. So in order for you to catch us, we would have to die off right now, and it would still take you five years before you caught me. All right, all right. <laughs> you know, Jesus, give me a break. 29 after the hour. Riri, we'll get your local stuff coming up shortly. But first, on the phone, comedian extraordinaire Miss Nikki Carr, who will be performing... Friday night up in uh, Sanford at the American Legion for our buddy Joe Nell. And then on Sunday right down the street at the... Or our bar, uh, Brooklyn Bar South and Loma Bowl. I'm glad you could say that. Could you say that again three times? No. How that much? that again three times. Okay. So yeah. Boardwalk Bowl at uh, Loma Walk. Or is it a boardwalk walk? Oh, the Bro- no, Brooklyn Bar at Aloma Bowl. Look, it's the bowling alley down on Aloma Avenue, damn it. That's, yeah, the that's one. right. <laughs> that one across the street from CVS. Right. You can't look. You can't miss that. It's been there for like 500 years before the Homeowners Association came around here. I don't know that far back. All right, Nikki, good morning. How you doing, sister? I am doing great. Now, tell us. Do you think you could have... I bet you you would have liked to come in here and gone live with us as we've been doing shots of fireball all morning. Uh, especially if you have someone to carry me away from there after I'm done, yeah. <laughs> I think Doc could have handled that, Doc. Yes, sir. Uh-huh, see there? So, Nick... Uh, tell, uh-oh, 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 I hear about that voice. Go right ahead, Doc. Yes, I he can hear you. He got muscles in his voice. I know he can handle it. Oh, muscles in his voice. <laughs> well, I can get you where you need to go. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Even the CEO is like... You're driving. You're driving. You're in front of everybody. You can get me where I need to go. That's what I need. <laughs> and my license are good. There you go. So, I'm going to give you a lap dance, so don't worry about it. I got you. I think I'm going tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> Cat Man just thought Joe Nelson said, Can I have one more to my party, please? <laughs> <laughs> so, Miss. <laughs> Whoa, y'all got me so. I'm choked up, I can't even talk. Hey, muscles in your throat back there, say something. Doc. I'm just saying that I'll definitely be there tomorrow night. Why not? Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, Miss Carr? All right. Well, now I need some no-nos. He's like, oh, damn, let me be there. Oh, no, I'm just very low-spoken, quiet. Oh, gotcha. All right. That's what's up. I don't rush nothing. Oh, okay. All right. I'm, 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 I'm waiting on a comeback there. Anyhow, uh, Nikki, tell me, how long have you been in the uh, the business, and uh, what brings you to Central Florida? I love Florida. I love Florida. I love Florida. I love Florida. And my boy, Joe Neal, you know, he's a Right, right. Anywhere he asks me to come, anywhere he asks me to come, I'm going to be there. He looks out for us, you know. 
I can't help but not go to Central Florida. Okay, we're just And uh, August, August 14th is my anniversary in comedy. It will be 21 years. Wow, 21 years in comedy! Wow, wow Nikki Carr, talking big chat. Well, give it, give us a little, give us a little taste of what folks can expect on Friday night at the uh, American Legion in Sanford Post 53. Thank you, and or Sunday at, uh, at the bar at the Brooklyn Bar at Aloma Bowl. Okay, go right ahead. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, there is a time and a place for everything. This is not that time or the place. I need to see their face in the place, and I want to see them so bad, guess what? The first 50 people are going to get in free. That's why you heard it. I said it. The first 50 people are going to get in free. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say the first 50, like 5 0? 50. 5 0. Boy, he's going to have a heart attack. I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say, but I'm driving, you know. Okay. And, and, and stuff like that. You know, but when I get there, I'm going to be chilling, and I'm going to need to see a lot of teeth. I'm no dentist, but I love teeth, okay? So I want to see teeth. Even if you don't have that many teeth, bring the few that you have. And I'm going to see all the way in the box for the little thing, the little boxes. The little, uh, what do you call that little box and bag in the back of the throat? I want to see all of those all across the audio floor, across the room. I'm driving 1,500 miles to hang out with y'all, so y'all come drive out and hang out with me. The first 50 people, both nights. How about that? Okay, I, he's on, now he's, hey, he's on the other line. I know he's having a heart attack right about now, but, <laughs> Jamil, you heard it. Jamil, you heard this. He wants a, the first 50. But that's all right. We'll talk about that a little later. Hey, uh, Miss Carr, we want you to drive safe and come down in one piece because let me tell you something. You're coming to Florida. People don't know how to drive in Florida. They don't even know how to speak English and they can't even drive in Florida. So you're, you're, you're in for a treat. I have been to Florida so many times and I agree. However, I want to see all of them people. That's they may not be able to drive, but they get a laugh their butts off. I'm going to say that right now. That's what I've experienced. Okay, you're right about that. Teeth and all missing. (laughs) 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 All right, Miss Carr, we'll see you on Friday night. Friday night, she will be at the... American Legion in Sanford, Post 53. And showtime is... 8.30. Okay, so get there a little early so you can get your drink on. And then on Sunday night, she's going to be... At the Brooklyn Bar at Aloma Ball on uh, Aloma Avenue across the street from CBS. And what time does that show start? That's going to be at 7. Doors open at 7 o'clock. Remember, first 50 people, both shows get in free. Joni is probably wondering, what is this woman doing? (laughs) (laughs) All right, then, Nikki, we'll see you soon right here on Captain and Company. Now, now that she done gave away your house, and you heard it, so you know we promoted it. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. That's the way to do it. Okay, we're gonna repost, and uh, I will talk to you a little later. Let me finish up the show. Okay. Alright, no problem. I need a shot again. This is a fireball. I'm doing it right now. Very good. Thank you, sir. That was fun. That was, that was fun. And, uh, I don't know she's Somebody's in the I front got, door. Talking about I got muscles in my voice. I'm like, oh, hell. I do I need some uh, do I need some no dos? Hell no. I like how she said that. Yeah, I, I don't want you nothing. <laughs> uh. That was a funny ass show. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Where is she coming from? She drove 1500 miles. Yeah. 
Going to news. You made the changes? Check your email. Well, I'm, I, I, heard I, made I haven't got that far yet. Changes have been made, Captain. Okay. Sure to get to your email. Jazzy Sensation. Captain Company on the Captain Company Radio Network, 41 after the hour. Big shout out to Frank up there in PA because Frank was talking about a website. He said, Captain, all the DJs are going over to It's Me to broadcast. Well, I'm not going, and I'll tell you why. First of all, we used to broadcast over there from June to December of 20. 16 and got paid for it and then a pro-trump supporter decided to open their mouth which caused us to lose that account and then we find out that they just got busted the other day for 600 uh, 667 million accounts were pedophiles Pedophiles. I don't want to be nowhere near no damn pedophile to save my life. Do you understand? <laughs> so if you DJs want to broadcast with pedophiles, go right ahead. 
Thank you, doing? Scott. That's disgusting. No wonder. <laughs> Throw people over there. Okay, Riri. Yeah. Since you're, you're just so adamant in getting your local news in, go. Well, first I have to say this new segment is sponsored by Premier Elevator. What goes up must come down. He's, 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 Chris is sitting here. <laughs> Make what goes up? the fact that I, must I, go down. I got my hands in. I'm doing this with yeah. a pen. What does go up must come down. And what does go down must come up. That was some weird grammar. For all your elevator needs, <laughs> call from your elevator. <laughs> Call Premier Elevator at 321-326-8558. That's 321-326-8558. Now let's see if I can read my handwriting. I will hope so. <laughs> I don't know. Orange County, Florida deputies are investigating yet another murder in Central Florida. This one in an apartment complex early this morning. I've been avoiding these kind of stories because, well, they're depressing, but I can't anymore. There are just so many. But here's just a couple. This morning, according to the Orange County deputies, a body was found outside a reserve at Lake Buchanan Apartments on Holden Avenue in Orlando. No other info is available at this moment. Meanwhile, also early this morning, one man was killed and two others were hurt in a triple shooting in Daytona Beach. Apparently, there was an argument um, which ended in gunfire outside the Sun Plaza Motel on U.S. Highway 1. Hold it, hold it. It wasn't a hotel. It was a motel. It says motel. Okay, so hotel, motel, holiday inn. If your girl start acting up, then you then take you it. Then you take it. Then you take one man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chris. 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 The yeah, dogs go oh. crazy. <laughs> Back to. You can have a seat here. No, I ain't gonna sit there. <laughs> Come on, Reese. Hold it. Hold on. No, read the news. Just read the news. Okay. I'll be right back. Well, I'm. I, I, one man, the suspected gunman, fled the scene. His name is Marcus Pickney, and he's driving a four door Honda Accord with Florida plates. Uh, Y62CVK, the JK62 Charlie Victor Kilo. What? what? I was it? just giving the license plate number in a way that. Well, you said somebody didn't have a Kilo? What? How many drinks has she had a fireball? Too you much. Know, <laughs> don't do that to my coffee. Well, don't leave it out there for it to happen. Uh huh, there you go. St. Cloud, there's a man targeting women in parking lots. What he does is come up to women who have just left stores, brandishes a gun, demands money and jewelry, and then takes off in a black cheek. He's done this four times now. Once at a in St. Cloud? Yeah, St. Cloud. So well, you ain't stealing nothing in St. Cloud, but fake jewelry. Why don't he do it down on Park Avenue? If I'm going to steal something, go somewhere go, where go. you know there's real jewelry. That's right. Well, he did this. You're in St. Cloud. That's jewelry. That, yeah, that jewelry. Uh, so, not understanding wealth he went to a walmart another time at a clothing store uh he attacked two women there uh at a burger king and tuesday at a wow place. i'm gone he's going only attacking women he's yes only attacking he won't mess with a man hey no. but he's attacking yeah, women he's a coward he's attacking women at burger king for crying out loud so, so that explains why he said he once got busy in the burger king he back from, yes yes yeah. there you go all right all right if you have any clues, call St. Cloud Police. You want more? No, I think that just about does it with your okay. news because there you, you sound like a video burnout right now. Well, <laughs> don't do that to my coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine what Friday, what tomorrow's going to be like. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the last show before vacation, y'all. Homestead. Me. They're interested in pretty poison. Ooh. Pretty poison. Catch me on the So we booked pretty poison 
Well, down there, what can I say? What can I say? Dude, Dude. Pack, pack. What can I say? Come on, look, look. Don't touch it. I got it. I'm sorry, that grease the producer is. That's the first time I've seen that. Oh, there's always a call. Tell us, Terry, just go right ahead. You know what I mean? You're going to get one. You're going to get one tonight. Why? Because we both provide all the Terry's. I got to use a little girl. Oh, yeah. All the nice to see you. Uh -huh. And that's all he's got. Think I can do this in four minutes? Not going to come. Last break, please. Okay.
They pay me a hundred dollars per game, so two hundred dollars. Hey, road trip, vacation, you dang right. And I'm doing another game on Wednesday, so the plan, so, so I'm speaking is in existence. I get the I get a three hundred dollar check Wednesday day after I'm done. Boom. Go Thursday, go to the airport, have that money deposited in my account. Bam, I'm good. A little extra, a little more steady money. I got enough, I got enough as it is. I got happy yesterday. I went to go wash my truck. But while I was washing it, because I had enough on the trees, and I was like, oh no, I can't be riding around like this. So I washed my truck while I'm washing it, and I'm just finishing up polishing it off. I get a phone call from the bank. The bank was like, sir, I was ripping it and come down to the office. I'm like, Okay. Damn, I don't think I had all the breath last I checked. He said, hold on, we're not right. <laughs> <laughs> they found a discrepancy. I was shocked. They called me. No, they did Whatever. Thank you. Thank you, man. What are you at? They turned around. They told me, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not like, nope. You got charged $50. That's 26 cents. Three times in a row, same time. And the people in the movie have no problem with their credit card machine, but they went to the food He said, Oh, we need to give you that money back. I was going to get it. And he did 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 it. <laughs> my man, and you're like, my man! I might be broke, but I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> the bridge is full, my tank is full, I'm good. And I got my smokes, so I'm good. <laughs> I am, I was like, I am good to go. It was so funny. I like that. They're like, we'll be checking on your account for you to make sure. 
I think I built Dow Jones for the King Chicken, make sure if I did, because I know you had that meeting at noon. Two time. Can y'all sing that? Sing it! Pledge allegiance. Two time. No, we're not going to play that. Huh? You're playing the time, and then the next song would have been Girl by the time. No, I wouldn't have done that. Oh, okay. Always start a show top of the hour with something banging. Something bang, gotcha. What do you want to do, son? Find it down. Oh, they changed their name to Alcohol. It was a stunt. Which I figured it was the case in this place. Well, they got restaurants like that. They just don't call it Alcohol. And our second one was Alcohol. Smelling like money in here all over again. No! Run <laughs> takes advantage of unruly parents. What do you do? You want, you gotta get the hell out of here! Let me tell you something. If you did not laugh your behind off on this show, well, I don't know what to tell you. Remy party shot. Hey. Good afternoon. Have a wonderful day today. Oh, she's still. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that fireball, because this morning it was, God morning! Now it's good afternoon. Good afternoon! Okay, uh, Slick Vic. I believe I'll leave a little message. Some of y'all talking, everybody's talking angry, and everyone's talking how you mean. Don't talk about how dirty somebody else's house is when it's your window that may not be clean. Ooh! Nice! Ooh, I like that, Vic. That sounds like, why is your head so, why, are you, why is your face so happy and your hair so nappy? Yes. Alright, uh, Doc! I just want everybody to be safe on the highways and byways. And Miss Nikki, go ahead and make it here to the Old Town or make it here in Central Florida so you can go ahead and pass on the last because laughter is something that's always enjoyable to each and every one. Make sure you protect your children, even if it's not your child, they're still ours. If you see something wrong, say something. Well, wow, I like that. Uh, Timmy Adams over there sucking down ribs over there. How you doing, sir? Don't tell anybody I'm eating ribs. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, with that said, that wraps up. this diet. Yeah, we're not this diet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's another edition of Captain Company. My goodness, for a Thirsty Thursday, join us tomorrow, Freestyle Friday, last show of the week, because we are taking vacaciones. I'm going to the beach. I was told, hey, baby, we're going to the beach, and you ain't playing radio. Okay. After a wonderful landing, we would like to be the first to welcome you back. To Somebody the bring him around the back. We'll be I'll do it. Let's, uh, uh, Clark, Clark. Clark, okay. 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 Please check with the home page of the station you are looking to and set your internet device when you disembark. Please be sure to check your seat back pockets, bathrooms, and overhead compartments for any leftover adult beverages or contraband that you may have brought on board with you. 
On behalf of our entire flight crew, Kathy Goodfill, Paul Hollywood, please the producer, Dr. Jerome, Lex Vick, Rita Merlo, the CEO, and myself, Tammy. We would like to thank you for flying Captain Company Internet Airways. We'd like to wish you a pleasant day wherever the music will take you. This has been a presentation of Kathy Company in the morning, the worldwide leader. On behalf of your flight crew and Joe Bob and Abbey, sure it's been a pleasure to have on our channel. Welcome to Orlando. Good show. Welcome. We're all invited back to this locality. Do you have a little help in the hospitality? I'll come back now. You? Homestead Raceway for the uh, championship of NASCAR. What if I told you Pretty Poison could be performing all because of us? Catch me, I'm falling. Da 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 da. You got the name of me for me, sir. You need to catch that. Did you check the apps yet? I'm gonna check them. I'm gonna check them. I'm gonna check them either today or tomorrow, depending on when I get done with Daytona. <laughs> Tight Mike, I need you to go to that website and get me four tickets. With the promo because, code? Yes, because you gotta print the. You gotta print the actual flyer ticket, and I can't print because okay. I gotta. I'm working on it. I'll work. Okay, I'll take care of that as well. All, All right, right, I'll um, see you tomorrow. See you on tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Rita. What are you doing? Give me that red cup. Jealous shots. Yeah. Okay. Um. This is Dang I'm going to make a voiceover reel today at the public library because they have sound booths there. My computer is dead to the world. I, I need to ask on Facebook if anyone has a bootable USB drive, thumb drive. Windows 10. Oh, I can't tear the computer apart. It's got these little hexagon shaped things that I can't find a screw, something to go into it. I, I, it's not like I can't take apart a computer. I've done that so a lot. That's how I, I've kept laptops alive further than keep them alive. Taking that one apart has been a real challenge. It's like I need one of those jeweler's screwdriver things. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, can I have one of your water, sir? It's just going to require a walk to the Orlando Public Library because I don't want to pay for parking. <laughs> yeah. I'm missing something. I'm missing my keys. Where are I put it? Oh, I got pockets. <laughs> They're on your butt again. They're on my butt again. That's what I wanted to talk about. What? There's a new thing called Blue Vine, and Blue Vine wants you to they'll help small businesses. So I said I want between five and ten thousand dollars. They said, Well, how much do you make in a year? Oh, we're about ten, fifteen thousand dollars. They said, "Oh, you need to make a hundred thousand dollars before you can borrow five thousand dollars." And I'm like, "Well, if I had a hundred thousand dollars, what would I want five thousand dollars?" Yes, that that's not helping small business. So I, I had 